How does the first encounter of the Prophet ﷺ and Jibreel go? Does anyone know? Is it Hira? When does the Prophet ﷺ first see Jibreel? As a young child. Anas ibn Malik عنه, narrates that the Prophet ﷺ was running around playing with all of the children just like everyone else. And this is the year that his mother died. So the Prophet ﷺ is a complete orphan at this point. He's lost his mother and he's lost his father sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he's now switching from hand to hand, I mean, from lap to lap. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa still was a very happy child. And he's running around playing with all the other kids. When suddenly a man came and he grabbed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he threw him into the ground. So all of the other children went running to their parents and they said, Inna Muhammadan qad qutil. That Muhammad ﷺ has been killed. And as they're running to their parents, the Prophet ﷺ is watching now what this man is about to do to him. Rasulullah ﷺ said, He cut my chest. He opened my chest. He grabbed the heart of the Prophet ﷺ. And he took something from the heart of the Prophet ﷺ and he said, هَذَا حَظُّ الشَّيْطَانِ مِنْكَ This is the portion of evil within you, the portion of the devil within you. And he threw it. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, he proceeded to wash my heart in a golden vessel of zamzam. And subhanAllah, the, the, what the scholars say about that, number one, gold would be considered the best of metals, and zamzam is the water that Jibreel ﷺ opened in the first place. Zamzam is the best of all water. He started to purify the heart of the Prophet ﷺ. He started to wash it with zamzam. And the Prophet ﷺ is watching all of this as a child, and his heart was put back sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And by the time the kids got back, they found the Prophet ﷺ with his chest sewn up. And you know what's amazing, subhanAllah. Anas ibn Malik who said there was a line down the chest of the Prophet ﷺ that had makhit. Makhit is stitching. Like a perfect line of stitching. Did they, did they used to do open heart surgeries 1400 years ago in Arabia? Perfect stitching on a line on the chest of the Prophet ﷺ. And they said his face was blue. The very first time I taught this class, it was in London. There was a cardiologist that came to me and gave me like a 20 minute lecture as to why his face would be blue because circulation's cut off and would it be this color blue? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's really, and he was doing it, mashallah, you know, in that British accent. I'm like, that's great. So I got the point now. Circulation cut off, blue face. Further proof, right? The Prophet ﷺ's heart was taken out physically and he was purified alayhi salatu wasalam. He got absolutely no explanation from that moment. He was traumatized by the incident. He didn't know what happened. Now the mushrikeen, the pagans were a very superstitious people. So they just took this to mean that it's some good omen, right? And they started to celebrate it and so on and so forth. Because they thought that this was something that was good for them. Obviously it wouldn't be so good for them.